read. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Welcome to the San Juan Carpenter YouTube page. My name is Scott Schaefer. And uh, two years ago, about a year and a half ago actually, I posted my first video. It was about how to make a bar stool. And I used this bench, which I've had for about two years now. And it's funny, I, I got more response on the bench than the stools. I don't know if to take that as a compliment or not, but uh, either way, I've continued to get response and questions and requests. Um, about how to build this bench. So, decided I might as well do it. And I was hoping that I would be building a new bench uh, sometime soon, and I'll just film that process, but it looks like I might be moving into a new shop soon, so I don't want to take the time to build a new bench uh, customized for this shop, um, and then just go ahead and move to a different one, and then, you know, have to build it all over again. So, instead of building a new bench right away, I'm just gonna show you what I did with this bench. The bench locks into place with four locks on each corner. Once you have it all unlocked, you can swivel, swivel it around. Just be careful not to pinch any of your cords. I've destroyed a couple extension cords this way. With the right side facing up, go ahead and lock it back down. The locks I use can be found at any hardware store. As you can see, I just used 4x4 posts and 2x4 framing with 3 quarter particle board as the shelves and tabletops. I also equipped it with wheels so that I can scoot it around the garage where I need it and also to store it away easily. On one end of the bench I have regular receptacles and on the opposite end I have one regular receptacle and one GFI and the entire bench is controlled by a switch. The bench is powered by a cord that has some length to it and a hook where it can be stored. On the other leg I put another hook to store additional cords. All you have to do to power the bench is take the cord off the hook and plug it into the wall. The GFI protects all of the outlets downstream of it and the switch is an emergency on or off switch for the bench. As you can see I have a lathe and a joiner attached to my bench. These are very heavy tools and very difficult to take out and put away. run the lathe, I just plug it in and flip the switch. To run the joiner, I, ha I plug it in, but I have to use the bench's switch to operate it. The reason for this is because the switch that I had wired for it fried and I had to hardwire it temporarily and I haven't gotten around to replacing the switch yet. This is where the switch used to be. As you can see, the joiner also has holes drilled through the bench. This is for dust collection. All I do is stick the hose of the vacuum in this hole. To attach tools to one side of the bench, or to do regular maintenance, all I have to do is remove the panel with nothing attached to it. I use inch and a quarter drywall screws to hold it on. So now you can see what's inside. Not as complicated as you may have thought. Here you can see the wiring for the joiner. It goes from the switch over to the motor. This is the compartment for dust collection. This is the inch and a quarter EMT pipe that not only serves as a pivot, but also transports the wires from one end of the bench to the other safely. You can see that I hold the tools on using bolts and washers.
and you do just the opposite to put it back together again. Very easy to take apart and put back together. Okay guys, well thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can feel free to email me at scott at sanjuancarpentry.com. Uh, I have answered quite a few questions over the last year and a half about the bench, other products, so please do throw those questions at me, and I'll get back to you. Um, also, please check out my website, www.sanjuancarpentry.com, or if you also want to watch more how-to videos, logfurniturehowto.com is a great resource for you. Again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.